We have $15 from Crossed. Got to make that Taskbot scribble knots happen on our way to 2 million hype. And we are good to go on setup. KZ, do your magic. <sighs> magic. I'm not a magician, I'm a video game speedrunner. There is a big <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> difference. That's actually the same thing. In 2019, it's the same it's thing. It's wild, ain't it? It is. Actually, we, witchcraft. Yeah, and we hit the two commas. We, we did. did. Oh, speaking of which, now that we've hit a million dollars, can I ask you the million dollar question? <sighs> Boy, do I have a lifeline? Is Billie Jean your lover? Man, oh, come on, I'm here to it's play a million games. dollars. I don't want to th look, okay, that's for the interview later. Oh, no, in the, the later yeah, interview. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. That's, the, that's the tell all, play. right? I gotta, I gotta hide the secret until it's just like. Play, yeah. play a game. Play a game. <laughs> you wanna play? Can I? No. Okay. <laughs> How far do you think you'd get? Um, I can't even read the menu, so I'm, no, I'm done. <laughs> Good to start. <laughs> all right. So, of course, uh, I'm Casey for uh, I play uh, GTA. Uh, from time to time, we have on the couch Brosif, my number one fangirl, uh, and Eternal Enigma. Number two fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> and number one fanboy, Musical Daredevil. Thank you for uh, your services again, reading donations for me again. You're, you're amazing. You're always here. Do you sleep? Yeah, man, crazy. All right, I mean, <laughs> with, without further ado, we'll, we'll play some video games, right? We'll get the. That's uh, a good idea. We should do that. All right. All right. So timing is uh, specifically it's after the loading screen vanishes, but I'll try to time it appropriately here. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Woo! All right, Vice City, this is uh, my, my third time playing this game. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Brand new. I know, man. All right, so the first thing you'll notice about the game is this in Japanese, and uh, that is for a very specific reason later, so that the game doesn't crash when we're doing a trick. So you play Tommy Versetti, and um, you are fresh out of prison, 15 years in jail, it's crazy. And the mafia doesn't really think uh, you'd do a, all, all that good of a job uh, back home in Liberty City. So they send you down south to expand the business. Can I say something real quick? Uh, you have a microphone. I just can't escape Michael Jackson. I was on the Moonwalker count. <laughs> right, yeah. I think, <sighs> is this a GDQ record? It's two games. I think it might be. With Michael, yeah, I I'm mean. sorry, I just had to say it. All right, so the we interrupt this program. Okay, the first thing uh, I'm going to talk about is the replay system. You can make replays in this game, and you can make them very short whenever you want. You can only have one at a time. So the first thing we're going to do, we just made a replay over the Rampage icon, and now we're uh, death warping in the hospital. All right, 10% chance that this is locked. Let's see it. Come on. No, nice. unlocked. We won the 90% chance. Sweet. Good start. All right, so... Uh, in this game, there's two states. There's the on mission one state, which is when you're on a mission, and then there's the free roam state, which we call on mission zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start paramedic and the rampage at the same time. And then I got out of the ambulance that I canceled paramedic. The game put me back on the um, free roam mode, and now we're on the storyline mission and the rampage at the same time. The reason for this is very specific, and we want to do uh, a setup where we start the same mission twice, which you're never, ever supposed to be able to do. Uh, but this is speedrunning, and we do whatever we want. And so. we break the rules we, within yeah. community guidelines. <laughs> we don't want to upset anybody. Right, exactly. We're not here to be controversial. No, we're not. Mm -hmm. So Not yet, at least. So the first mission is all about going over to the boat and just hanging out with all the key players in Vice City, because we're missing a lot of money. Uh, I think it all went to GDQ, but good. Tommy is trying, yeah, that's good. Tommy's trying to hunt down the money that he's missing because the mob is very upset that he's lost a lot of money in a deal that went bad. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, meet everybody. We skip the cutscene, though, and uh, we jump on the bike. And now we're going to take the colonel's daughter to the club. Maybe. And that'll, oof, that'll be the first. You see that guy? What I is did. he doing? Come on. All right, so anyway. Traffic is uh, insane in this game, as you'll come to find. So that's the first mission done. Hundred dollars, easy. This game is very stingy with its money. Yo, thank you, thank you. Hardest trick in the game is the first mission. It it's, always is, in every game true. ever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna pull up. 
if you uh, grind your bike against the wall and jump off, it stops immediately because um, physics. So back alley brawl, second mission. Now we're going to meet Kent Paul. Uh, we're, I mean, you're not going to see him. We're going to skip the cutscene, but he's there. Trust me. Should I believe you? I, don't, I, I can't tell you what to do, man. You're a grown adult. <laughs> you're right, I sure am. <laughs> I'm a little too grown sometimes. Yeah, right? Ugh. All right, so we're going to just drive right into the right into the club. Yeah, that's what I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So we made it to the club in time before the rampage expired. You'll notice, now if you look on the mini-map, you'll see the L. That's for the lawyer missions. So we're on a mission, but the game doesn't think we are. The game thinks we're in free roam mode. If we wanted to, we could go back and take this mission again, but we're not going to do that. We're going to get a shotgun. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little talk with the chef here. <laughs> nice talk. Uh, <laughs> Good chef. Yo, don't tell anybody, all right? <laughs> you know, when they get my order wrong, <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that so bad. <laughs> don't, but don't do that. Don't. So we're gonna activate the rampage again, which we can do because we failed it earlier while on the mission. So we just tricked the game to thinking we're not on a mission. We could take it again. And now we're gonna we're gonna make a uh, very specific timing with this rampage. When it's at like five seconds to go, you can see the timer in the uh, the top right. When it's at like five seconds to go, we need to be starting the mission after this one. So it's a bit tight. Hopefully uh, the driving is good. Hopefully the traffic is nice. You'll see biker uh, dudes on the side of the street from time to time. That's the rampage spawns. Rampages are little mini games where you get a weapon and you get two minutes and you're free to do whatever you want. Just go crazy. Yeah, you, you just, you know. As the name implies, we're gonna take a shortcut. All right. So, I mean, the driving in this game is actually one of the better parts of it. It's one of the things that holds up extremely well, including the soundtrack, banging tunes for the next hour. Let's try to get a car. Uh, we can move in this cutscene because we were fast at the start of the game. That's basically the gist of it. I'm a little worried. I didn't see a car. Okay, fine. Nice. I'm sorry. Look, you, it's for charity, okay? <laughs> it's a family van, man. Uh, they need something more fashionable anyway. Oh, man. You're funny, you know that? You know, I've been, I've been told that. I literally just told you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a phone call right now. Phone calls, you can't skip phone calls. Uh, when we ran over the chef... When we talked to the chef, uh, we, we picked up his phone, and, and for some reason, people just know that we have his phone, so they call us, like, all the time, constantly. All right, so you can't skip phone calls, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. All right, so we start the mission the first time. It's going to start again since the rampage timer ran out. The game thinks we're in free roam mode. Start it again. This happens again. This is very tragic. Oh, no. oh you hate to see that happen. It's not having a good day. At least he right. dropped a hammer. We get on the moped, and we wait, and mission passed. Magic. Video game magic. Uh, Jury Fury is a mission where you're supposed to damage two cars, but they look quite damaged already, so that's fine. We just spawn two sets of them, and they uh, they just take care of it for us. Hey, you know, so, you know what I say? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry don't, about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Forget about it. I'm trying sometimes. We're gonna, all right, so this mission is right. We're going to make them one offer uh, they can't refuse. Uh, Riot is the mission where you meet Avery Carrington, and he wants you to drive some business out of town uh, for, you know, land development purposes. So we're just going to cruise on up here. <laughs> you know, it it's, just, it's just typical business. <laughs> it's real estate business. They, they didn't pay their taxes. I don't know. So we're just going to blow up a couple vans. And we're going to go to the hospital again. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice place. <laughs> All right, cool. So that gets us closer to the next set of missions. Now we're going to do uh, Colonel Cortez missions. Uh, you'll see the A on the mini-map right now. We don't take A missions at any point, sorry to say. You won't see RC helicopters or anything of that well, nature. Uh, well, I'm leaving then. <laughs> well, you're free to leave. I can, actually. <laughs> so... This is Colonel Cortez calling us now. He's, he's uh, sympathetic. He understands our struggle, uh, which is real. And uh, he's saying, you know, we can do some business together. So we're going to do just that. Uh, the first new thing since this game was in GDQX at 
uh, in November. The first new thing is the pistol skip. So you're, what you're going to see me do is not pick up the pistol. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're just going to see me not do something, right? <laughs> It's, sometimes it's not about yeah. what I do, it's about what I don't <laughs> do. It's about what you don't yeah. do. <laughs> See? All right, so, like, way back in the day, we didn't do the death warp at the end of that mission, and so we just, like, always had our guns. When you die, you lose all your weapons, which is quite tragic. And uh, somebody decided, hey, why don't we try not picking up the pistol? And it turns out it's faster. So we're making a quick detour. This is our next replay here. We can only have one at a time. And we're gonna make it right there, and we'll come back to that later. We're gonna leave, yeah. Nice. Just, just yeet it out of the garage. There you go. You're ready for cone crazy with those skills, aren't you? Yeah, that's a that's an inside joke. We don't do that mission anymore. Oh, All right. Well, so oh. now you gotta not hit the traffic, which is easier said than done. This intersection is deadly. <laughs> it's very it's very quiet and calm right now. That's good. That's good. Everybody's behaving. Watch out for these guys. Woo! All right. Can we do the cool thing? Let's see. Yeah! Yeah! Right in the marker. Let's go. All right. So since we skipped the pistol, we have to use the chainsaw, and he's not very happy about that. So we're just going to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. Who would yeah, be? I know. So cool. Uh, we just picked up a, a bribe star. There are little bribe stars in this game you can pick up that diminish your one to level by one. So you'll see in the top right, I have one wanted star and bad traffic at the intersection. Uh, so when you have one wanted star, it eventually just expires. So if I don't commit any crime, which is easier said than done, uh, there we go, <laughs> mission passed. So I'm gonna drive down to Mall Shootout. I'll pass it to Musical Daredevil. You have any donations, please read them. I got lots of donations. Ooh. I have a $20 donation from Dave Javu. Got a donate for Casey Fru. Shout out to Jai. Yo, thank you, Dave. Big hero. All right, let's eat into the marker again. Ah, ah, beautiful. beautiful. It's standing up too. Look, that's not easy to do. You want me to clap for that? <laughs> <laughs> you can clap whenever yeah! you want. We clap for that. <laughs> Almost missed the cue. <laughs> All right. Mall shootout. So this is another uh, pistol skip mission. And I got to be quick. I got to make sure I catch up to this guy. Because if he gets away, that's embarrassing. And yeah. we don't want that to happen. No, you don't. You know, no. That'll be on YouTube, and it's really embarrassing. I know. So <laughs> yeah. talk to this guy. He's running away. We run faster. How you nice. doing? Uh, I don't want you here. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be there. <laughs> What's he doing? Come on. I thought I had him on payroll. I thought I told him not to show up today. All right. Anyway, uh, it's very important not to drive into the water, as I did a number of times in practice. <laughs> so. Water is bad. Yeah. Tommy, so I've heard. Tommy can't swim. All right. We didn't get the bail off that time, but that's okay. You know, it's whatever. All right, this is the last uh, Colonel mission for now. He's that's, got he's got more. That's that just that's just good general motorcycle tips in general. Yeah. Just don't fall in the water. Yeah. All right, this is the warp. There you go. That that replay earlier, we picked up a gun that spawns on this mission, and the gun triggers a cutscene. And here's Lance. Hi, Lance. So we're gonna pick up the gun, even though we like picked it up in the replay. We didn't pick it up in real life. Not the Vice City is real life. <laughs> All right, this is the hardest trick in the game. Come on, second try. Come on. You yeah. first try. First, <laughs> first try. try. Yeah. Time. You get one freebie, right? All right. This is a close icon. We're gonna make a replay here, and we're also gonna look very, very uh, suave. It's a beautiful for this suit. Deal. Yeah, it is a gorgeous suit, right? So, we're just gonna drive up to uh, Guardian Angels here, and then we've got a little bit of a cutscene. We can squeeze in a donation. I think. We have $15 from Sound Volume. Nice time. Had to donate during this run because KZ and Enigma are my favorite to watch on Twitch. It's awesome seeing them together. Is, well, that, well, what you, is that what your name is? Yeah. Uh, my mom was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was going on that day. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run away. And I'm gonna grab some uh, some grenades at the uh, the cop station, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking behind me the whole time, because if I look away from the deal, I fail the mission. So I gotta be very careful not to do that. So we just gotta look in this direction here, and jump because that's the best way to move right now. Jump, jump, 
pick them up, and try not to throw them on accident. That happens yeah. so much at the worst time. Don't get run over. Uh, and now we gotta go and do our job. Yeah. All right, we were supposed to protect these guys. Whoops, I, I don't think we did a good job. It's all right. Don't worry it's about okay. it. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Nice. All right, don't throw a grenade. Very good. Very good. All right, now we're back on it. I'm grabbing some ammo for later. I'm gonna shoot Lance. <laughs> <laughs> you need a lot of ammo to shoot Lance. <laughs> All right, this mission's on a timer, basically. There's no way to speed this up, so you can just keep doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> so now I gotta be very precise here. I gotta play my replay right as soon as the second guy dies, so. Oh, come on. Oh, man, Ooh. again! That's two GDQs in a row. I gotta do the boomer snipe. Mm. Will I do it? I don't know, man. That's a bummer. All right, let's see. Getting the timing on that strat is no, incredibly gotta, difficult. It's so hard, man. It's, it's probably the hardest thing in the game. No, it's not. I don't know what the hardest thing in the game is. Gate slip. It, it, it changes all the time, depending. So we gotta, <laughs> we gotta do the drive of shame. The drive-by of shame. Come here. Come here. Thank you. There we go. All right. See you later. Briefcase, front flip. No front flip. That's all right. All right, so now we're actually gonna show off what a close replay does. You'll remember we made that replay over the close icon, and what that's gonna do is allow us to move during cutscenes. So we can talk to our boss and then walk away. And now we can just get on the bike that we can't see and drive in a direction we can't see. Yep. <laughs> and off we go. That's it. Yep. Mission completed. All right. Gate zip is coming up. We got to yeet it real hard. Just this is uh, one of the oldest tricks in the game and mm -hmm. also one of the more inconsistent ones. So we just got to we just got to hope we get it. That's... All right. So we can't get over here yet, but yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, what are you talking about? Landing. All right. Phone call. You'll notice I scoped right after taking the phone call and that allows me to like sprint, which is uh, a lot faster than just running. <laughs> Generally. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy's a track star. He goes he goes fast, and that's going to be shown off during the chase here. Uh, we're going to have to sprint a long way. Sawed off the door. Very flashy. Good music. What's your car, maybe? No, okay. So we got another donation, I think, if we can squeeze it in. We got $20 from Dr. Tizzle. KZ for his run at GDQ 2017 got me into watching speedruns. His humor and clear explanations got me hooked and got me to try some tricks in GTA Vice City myself. My friends were impressed. Keep up the good work, everyone. I bet he did the gate zip. All right, so we're going to try and uh, roll into the marker here. Perfect. Now we're moving during that cutscene, and we're already at the window. That's hard. That's not nice. Yeah, that's a rude thing to say. <laughs> so rude. All right, so as, as I mentioned before, we can, uh, we can sprint quite fast. Uh, what I'm actually doing, instead of holding the sprint button, I'm tapping it, and that allows you to run for a lot longer than you should, and so we're now ahead of this guy. You better keep on running, and Tommy <coughs> is just running laps around him. So, <coughs> sorry about that. More close replay fun here. We're not supposed to be able to drive this car. If you look on the right side of the screen, some action is happening. I'm getting in the car, I'm driving off. We're gonna block the driver's side door, get out, get back in, please don't kill him. Cool, all right, so now, what we're supposed to do is chase, hence the mission name. But now he's just, he's just petrified. He is <laughs> so scared. He, look, man, stone. He is a stone statue. He has no idea what's going on, so we're just gonna, you know, head right, right to the end of the mission. And we're gonna do some more close replay stuff. Drive in directions we can't see. Right here. No, I didn't do it. It's fine. That's like two seconds, whatever. That's a lot of time though. I know. Yeah. In this game, yeah. All right, so we're not supposed to be able to drive this car, as I said, which means it just falls through water. Yeah. Uh, normally, this doesn't happen. You can also spam the camera, make it look crazy. It's also uh, a raindrop on the screen, I see. Yeah, yeah very realistic video very game. Very realistic. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on I the mean, other side of this bridge. We're not supposed to be here yet. 
Uh, and there's nothing to do over here, but there is a helicopter, and that's going to cut down travel time quite a bit. We use this for, like, As it usually the majority. Does. <laughs> Man, come on. We use this for, like, the majority of the run, so we got we to gotta take care of it. I'm just going to fly back to the mansion. More donations, please. We got $50 from Zelfian. You go, KZ. Yo, $50 from Zelfian. That's, uh, that's another hero. Shouts to the KZ crew. Cuties. All of them. Yeah. Those are, uh, those are my uh, loyal, loyal subscribers. Much appreciate them tuning in today, dropping some, uh, some love for charity. Speaking of the KZ crew, we also have $50 from Spoon Galaxy 51 Hey. Yeah. I've been waiting for this run all week. Good luck with the run, KZ Fru. The whole KZ crew is rooting for you. Yo, thanks, man. All right, we're going we're gonna to put this in the backyard. Seems like a nice place for a helicopter. Uh, we're going to leave that there for a while. Uh, but we're going to limit the amount of vehicles we get in so we don't lose it. If you enter, like, more than two vehicles, uh, the, they'll start despawning, the ones that we've entered. So we're going to... Uh, I need traffic. Nope, they're not cooperating. That's fine. They're all scared of me. Can you blame them? <laughs> no. Did that chef? <laughs> Lord. I know, I'd stay home too. All right, so Phnom Penh is an auto-scroller. There's going to be a couple of these here, but uh, it's like an auto-scroller can speed up. It's, it's like you got stages, you, you, you kill all the dudes, you move on to the next one. Uh, and we've got this first-person view, and our camera is, like, tethered to the side of the helicopter like this, and the gun kind of fires at pea shooter rate. It's very deadly, though. Um, but if we play a close replay, and we right-click, we can look wherever we want, and we can shoot just way, way too fast. This is unreasonable amounts of deadly, which uh, is very good, because this mission sucks uh, in terms of, like, aiming. So this makes it very, very much easier. Uh, we can do more donations while I do my thing here. We have $100 from Old Hoovian. Oh, yes. Old Hoovian. Thank you. Throwing down $100 for KZ Fru. Psyched to see his run. Best of luck. Thank you, Old Hoovian. All right. We just blow up those barrels so they don't get in our way later. Uh, if you'll recall, this is like the gang hideout that we drove to last mission. And now we're here, uh, and we want we want some money back, so this is what we're doing. This is a reasonable thing to do for money. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> totally understandable. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I hope these are insured. <laughs> Does insurance cover that? I don't know. They probably do now. Yeah. <laughs> what don't they cover now? It's true. We have taken literally no damage, Lance. It's fine. Yeah, he's kind of freaking out over no reason there. All right, we got to kill these last three guys before the cutscene starts. No, I didn't. Man, come on. All right, that's fine. Don't we're worry gonna, about it. We're just going to wait for like three days until we get dropped. Oh, that's a lot faster than I expected. Never mind. That's how three days feel these days, though. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so these guys are upset, but we can just run past them Neo style and take our uh, our money back. Off and away we go. And now we're on to fastest boat. Diaz is the uh, the dude we're doing work for right now. He's got this giant mansion. He's kind of the kingpin of the criminal underworld, right? Uh, and he's got two two jetties, but he doesn't have a single boat. I feel like I feel like we need to get him a boat. We need to even the balance out a little bit. Right, exactly. It's kind of a shame. Uh, just Right over the wall, Ooh, hang in there. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is kind of abuse an, an intended mechanic as you tend to do in speedrunning. Uh, in this game, you can't swim, but uh, because of that, if you are on land next to a boat and you hit enter vehicle, you just warp into it. Rockstar is nice enough, is like, hey, you know, it's fine. You're close enough. Yeah. We'll get you the rest of the way. It's very kind of them. So what you're <laughs> supposed to do in this mission is, um, Fight your way through the warehouse and like lower the boat and then get in it and all that, but we can just get out. Yeah, we're gonna do stand, something else. Stand right next to it, warp right in, Blah. and see you later. That's it. Yeah. There's only so much you can do in a nine-month development cycle, anyway. Yeah, I know, this right? game was. 
Ooh, it was. This game came out quick after yeah, GTA 3. Yeah, 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 no, it was, uh, man, it's a classic, though. They really, they cemented their legacy with this one. All right. So we're going to run through the hedge maze because I want a sniper rifle. Does, don't you want a sniper rifle? Who doesn't? All right, yeah. I want a sniper rifle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. So we're waiting on a phone call, and during that time, it takes 20 seconds from the end of a mission to your to front, your phone to start ringing. So we're just going to run right in here, grab our lovely little sniper rifle. That's going to come in handy way later, way later. We used to go to the uh, the gun store and get the grenades and the sniper rifle, but uh, we were able to save time now by just squeezing it in in places where you can't really lose time. You see, I'm already at, I'm already at the marker, so it doesn't matter. All right, supply and demand is the second auto scroller. Uh, it's a little race to this to this boat. I need to skip cutscenes. What am I? Cutscene <laughs> <laughs> percent. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oof. That's some banging tunes, but we got to skip them. It's yeah, we've got to skip them. It's yeah. an unfortunate part of right. what we do. I got to make estimate, you know. Uh, so we still have our close replay. If I play this at a very specific time, we can get the same kind of glitches before, where you like, you can look wherever you want, you shoot really fast. Uh, but if I don't, if I don't get it, I'm not going to waste time on it. So it saves time in this one specific spot because it kind of speeds up the fade. The game likes to fade to black and then fade back up to black, and you can like skip that. It's a very minor optimization. Let's see if I get it. It's very precise. Uh, I don't think that. Oh, that is it. Nice. That is it. Nice. All right, there you go. So we have this again, and uh, we're gonna make quick work of this mission. It's, as you can imagine, it's quite trivial uh, when you can just shoot at the speed of sound. Uh, donations would be great. Yeah, it looks like a nice leisurely boat ride there. Yeah, we're just hanging out, you know? Just a couple of guys in a boat, you know? With guns. Yeah. <laughs> With guns. Typical uh, by city. You know, yeah. We have $50 from Likos Lol. Hey, KZ, don't forget our friendly wager, sub-53. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh, I got to make that Ooh, happen. Yeah. Okay. Now that he's brought it up. I thought he'd forget. <laughs> Maybe don't say Guess that not. now. Oof. Anyway. Congrats on the one million. Keep up the great work, all of you. Yo, two commas already. That's crazy. It's awesome. It is awesome. All right, so we're just going to get rid of that guy. We're going to wait. Uh, if I if I kill the driver of this boat now, there's a chance that Lance will just plow into it and flip over, and that's uh, no good for anybody. Mm -mm. Um, so we're just going to wait until we're kind of past them, and then we're going to use our close replay again. Uh, as you recall, we, we picked up a helicopter a while ago. It's still there. And we're going to be making use of that now. See you later. <clears throat> Apparently, the police don't like this for some reason. Whatever could be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as soon as we get near this jetty, close replay it. There we go. And see you later. Uh, let me get up the stairs. There we go. Uh, truly the final <laughs> boss of this game. Okay, we got in. I had to listen for the door. Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're already there. You gotta tell me to be quiet. No, I'm not gonna tell you to be quiet, you man. Be... It's GDQ. You gotta be hype. Come on. Hype? Hype? Yeah, see? You gotta make some noise. Oh, I can I'll do that. I'll live. If you want, I can do that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> is that why you're here? Okay, that, well, Maybe. that's no good for anybody. All right. <laughs> We're gonna put down the helicopter. <laughs> Hopefully the phone don't ring. Ah! Darn it. That's fine. A little optimization where you just sprint right into the marker, but we kind of got in the helicopter late, so whatever. Uh, we're going to go and make another replay. As I said, we can only have one at a time, so we're going to get rid of our close replay. So let us uh, move around in places we shouldn't. And we're going to make a replay over the buy icon of this, uh, this asset here. Later in the game, we're going to start buying properties. And by properties, I mean two. Uh, <laughs> normally, you're supposed to buy like seven, but we skip, we skip a lot. So... We're gonna make a replay right over that, and we'll come back to that later. Uh, so, the colonel wants a uh, wants a tank for some reason. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I don't know. Rich people problems. Why would you want a tank? I I wouldn't want a tank. That's too much responsibility. That's true. Yeah. If you shoot the gunner, uh, they just get out and you just get in. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy. So, there you go. We're gonna turn the uh, the turret around, uh, and we're gonna fire quite a bit to speed our uh, 
Speed our drive up here. The the police don't like this either. No, they do not. No. No. So we're gonna try and just get rid of this as quickly as we can. Once we get close enough to the garage, they just give up. See, their stars are gone. They're like, they oh, he's in the pink circle. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care anymore. And the self-destruct, I don't know what happens to it. It's just, I guess it just stops. I don't know. $2,000, you think you'd earn a little bit more money for stealing a tank from the military, but... That's how much it costs to insure per month, actually. Well, I mean, you know, we're kind of getting the short end of the stick. We are. It's also the 80s, so you have to take into account inflation. Yeah. Even then, it's still not great. All right, so we're going to banish some people to the Shadow Realm, literally. We're going to shoot our gun and then play a replay as they're getting out, and they're just going to stand there soulless for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he, he, he knows what's happening. He, he, he wanted his soul. <laughs> <laughs> he fought for his life. I respect that. He gave it the old try. <laughs> so since I uh, glitched the phone call by, you know, aiming, I can, uh, I can shoot and do all this fun stuff. You're not supposed to be able to do this. Uh, because of that, the AI completely ignores you when you're on the phone because you're usually defenseless, but if you glitch calls, it's like, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can even get in cars, but that cancels the call. You still have to take it later. So the reason I, I do want to banish people to the Shadow Realm is to, like, clog up the game's memory so it's not dedicating space to actual moving traffic. It's hazardous to my health uh, and the environment. So, so it, it's all for charity. You know, we're just uh, cleaning up the streets. We're gonna slam this down right in the road. I've seen some T posing going on at Asia DQ, but I gotta tell you, you got nothing on Tommy's T posing, okay? You ready for this? Ready. You're not, you're not ready for this. There you go. Nice. Oh my! <laughs> that's that's T posing for bros, right? <laughs> that's some DDP yoga right there. Mm -hmm. Please don't actually do that. Please don't try that. Thank you for saying that, because I was about to do it. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. <laughs> okay. All right, so Lance has gotten himself kidnapped. Uh, Diaz actually killed Lance's brother at the start of the game, and Lance is a little sour. I can't imagine why, uh, but he got himself <laughs> in some trouble, and he's being held captive, and now we got to go save him. That's why we went to the Malibu. Uh, Kent Paul from the start of the game had the hot scoop, and he's like, yo, show up. I got some information. And now we got to go all the way back to the other side of the map to go and rescue our friend, uh, I guess he's a friend, more of an associate. He, he's, he's kind of a headache during this run. But we have to save him. So we're going to ditch this. Please don't despawn. That would be something else. Uh, that can happen sometimes. We're going to take care of four guys here. Zap, zap. Grenades out. Chainsaw out. All right. <coughs> Oof. Oh, gosh. I don't know what came over <laughs> the me. The air is so dry here. <coughs> yeah, it really is. <coughs> All right, so uh, just a little casual conversation while one guy's bleeding out. <laughs> All over the floor. Thanks, Lance. All right. So let's go back to our helicopter. Ooh, it's here. I'm going to spam the camera. There's a purpose for that. I'm just making sure Lance is behind me. Uh, and if you spam the camera when an AI companion is following you, he, he likes to, to teleport to you, which is good, usually. Sometimes Lance can teleport inside, like, the machinery over there. That's, that's no good for anybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. So we're just going to airlift him to the hospital, as you do. Probably going to be a bit of a rough landing. He'll survive. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh, 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 oh she no. was shopping. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you monster? Uh, those, Lance. those sales were seriously to die for. They them. were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. Thank you. All right. Well done. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. So I'm just going to fly back to Diaz's mansion, uh, and we can squeeze in a couple donations, I think. We have 50, uh, sorry, I already read that one. We have $5 from, this is Estonia. Good luck, KZ. Hey. Have fun, mate. Thank you. This is Estonia, another KZ crew. All the boys showing up. We have $50 from Greg Meyer. I spent hours playing Vice City when I was younger. It was one of my favorite games. I'm real excited to see it blasted to pieces. Good luck to the runners. GDQ is my favorite event of the year, and I'm always happy to watch. You can't hide! Yes. All right. So we're going to slide. 
There we go. That's a slide. And now I'm moving without pressing any buttons. And the reason I want to do this is because uh, at the start of this mission here, uh, you can't move during the fade, but if, you've, if you're sliding and your input is stuck, then you just kind of zoom. There we go. That's very good. All right, so Diaz has messed with the wrong dude, all right? I'm the only guy in town that can banish people to the Shadow Realm, be in two places at once physically and temporarily. I can clip through walls eventually. Uh, he's not seeing this coming. Sorry, bro. They never do. Yeah, you've messed with the wrong guy. Yeah. There we go. That's, uh, that's like the first half of the game. Uh, so no K time. Uh, Diaz is Died. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's, that's comedy, baby. Yeah, sometimes yes. they land and sometimes they don't. <laughs> uh, so, since we've killed him, we now have his mansion, I suppose. Uh, and we now have his gang. They're now loyal to us. So we're going to build up the Versetti gang now. And uh, we're going to take over the town. We, we're, we're the new players in town for the first half of the game. And now we gotta, we got to show people what's what. And the best way to do that is to break windows at the shopping mall. So we're going <laughs> to... I, I That's don't know. what MTV taught me in the 90s. That's how you do it. I don't know what uh, Tommy's thinking, but it's, you know, we'll roll with it. We, we'll go with it. This is, this is like... Teenager loitering levels of, of <laughs> you know, rebellion. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That might be a problem. No, Ed, don't worry about it. Don't worry oh, about it. Hit my head on the door. <laughs> <laughs> These people are very upset about this, by the You're way. You're destroying their livelihood. Let's get some decent windows. Every bullet has a 25% chance to break the window, except for the first one. Hello? Oh. Okay, come on. There you go. Sometime today. There we go. Sometimes they were ready for you. Yeah. All right. First use of the grenades. I didn't throw any grenades on accident. That's very, very good. <laughs> so there we go. We're just going to yoke them into the windows up there. <laughs> and the last few here. Uh, I'm replaying when my clip is low because that refills your weapon. All right, and we're gonna get in the uh, the prize Lamborghini here, and we're gonna warp to the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Factory. Uh, we made this replay earlier. You can buy properties through replays, and it doesn't spend any money, which is very good because this game does not like to give you money, uh, and we need a lot of money. Excuse me. Uh, we're <laughs> this is this is happening. I, I don't you you know this. <laughs> the, you know, I mean, okay. When the GPS malfunctions and it takes you to somewhere you don't expect to be, <laughs> this is what happens. Yeah, you wind up in the this shadow This is the realm. wrong part of town. Yeah. That's when you lose your data connection. <laughs> yeah, so here's the mansion. It's here, I promise. We're, we're, we're in the upside down. But not anymore, it's all right. Uh, Kent is calling us for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't listen to calls anymore. Uh... And we need to enter this vehicle that we just took and not the, uh, like, the mansion vehicle because then that'll despawn our helicopter. And we still want to use that thing if it, if it doesn't blow up. It's, uh, whew, it's going to be something. So uh, the next thing on our list is there's a protection agency across town. And they're paying, or they're protecting a restaurant. And we're, what? All right. Wow. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Uh, so we're going to go say hi to these guys, find out who they're working for, and then we're going to run them out of town as we do. Uh, we can probably fit in a donation while I, uh, while I speak to these fine gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you spoke to the chef. We have $25 from Toka. I'm having so much fun. Combine that with nostalgia, and you have a game where I have to donate. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, so we found out who they're working for. The manager told us. He's very scared of us for some reason. So we're going to run them out of town by blowing up the one car they have and uh, throwing the grenade. And now there's going to be a couple guys on bikes trying to leave town, uh, and we're going to intercept them, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, aiming in this game is really awful. Can you? Whoa. Police didn't like that either. I got a bike, but come on. 
No, nah, that's not happening. Okay. Well, I mean, the cop was there. That doesn't happen in video games, it, except for just now. <laughs> I think I think we've got flat tires here. No. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Oh so boy. when this happens, you want to flatten both. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. There's a reason. Watch out. He's. <laughs> All right. This is comical. All right. He's he's going away. Thank you. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is extremely <laughs> Oh, no, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Vice City it's, Speed Running, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God! Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... Whoa! Right, we're running away. This is a speed run. We still have to intercept the dude from earlier. We can't take that bike, though. I think I'm gonna put this in the paint spray. He's trying to flatten the tires that are already flattened. I'm hitting trees. Oh my goodness. Is he over there? Can I get him? Okay, don't. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, this is what happens when the police uh, decide to <laughs> enforce the law. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when they do their job? He's, I don't know what you're doing, bro. You got away. You could have left town. Why did you stop? They don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pink I, circle. I am definitely putting this. the pink circle, it's over. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely Going. putting this in the pain spray. We're going to lose some time, but you know what? It's more time to read donations. We have $25 Ooh. from Danotage. Banishing oh. people to the Shadow Realm is KZ's middle name. The lounge loves you as well as the entire GDQ event. <laughs> Kick butt from the Dano Cave. <sighs> I have driven this uh, bike with flat tires far too often. Same, actually. <laughs> Yo, that's the struggle, man. This game is brutal. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get back on track. Now that I can actually drive this vehicle, we're going to go back to the mansion, and we're going to do the last mission at the mansion, Copland. And then we'll be on to the, uh, the other assets. The mansion is actually one of the assets that you need to do. There's two assets you need to do. You need to do the mansion and the print works. And we're going to do both. And then we're going to do uh, the uh, ice cream factory five times, which is why we're playing in Japanese. All right, we're going to park it in the rose bushes. Answer some calls. Shouts to Burt Reynolds. He's in this game. Ray Liotta. A lot of good voice acting talent. All right, we're going to make a replay here. Uh, if I wasn't on the call, there'd be a save icon there. Uh, calls also put you in, like, the on-mission state. As you can tell, that marker was not there until the phone call ended. And all right, I forgot to explain this. Um, <laughs> come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. OK. So oh, not again. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. First. Cursed video game. All right. Oh. Uh. This is really not when you want this to happen, bro. They know you're at GDQ, dude. Watch out. They know where you are. Rockville, Maryland. It's not a secret. It's, well, yeah, you're right. It's all over the internet. <laughs> good all right. Point. So, so we, again, we're stuck with this, uh, with this bike, unfortunately. He's trying to flatten tires. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. He's trying to flatten tires that are already flattened. I'm trying Where's to flatten lines? you now. Oh my God. He did flatten me just now, in <laughs> fact. Okay. Come on, bro. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> they keep trying to flatten tires that are already deflated. So let's hopefully not have this happen again. And then we'll be on our merry way. Uh, Copland, if you're in the mall, at any point, uh, they put <laughs> butter on the road. If you're, the, if you're in the mall at any point during this mission, and you don't have a cop uniform, you get five stars. If you'll remember earlier, we warped out of the mall. So on some level, the game still thinks we're there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we uh, we uh, lured some cops into the, uh, the loading bay here, and now we've got cop uniforms, and hopefully they're chilled out. There's <laughs> <laughs> I've really been wanting to do that. Come oh on, my bro. Goodness. What that, is even there? That curb is like three feet high, it turns out. <laughs> All right. This is a speed run of a video game. In case you didn't know, <laughs> game's done quick. 
2019. 2019. We've, we've, we've got two commas on the screen. We do. And watch out. Okay. Uh, this is where it's going to get a little hairy, as it hasn't already in any sh way, shape, or form. This has been uh, completely by the books yep. the entire time. That's how you draw it up. Yep. All right. So just back right in. And these guys are aggroed because we were here earlier, technically, with without a cop uniform, technically. Uh, it's just levels of insanity that are at play here. My helicopter is not uh, feeling all good. It was, uh, it was a little smoky. It was a little smoky. Okay, Lance is here. That's very good. I think we'll be fine. Oh, man, that's... Uh, uh, watch it's out. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. Don't Ooh. worry about it. I really expected this to go wrong because Bar Brawl went wrong, Copland went wrong the first half. I expected this thing to explode or flip over or I don't know, but... Ooh. The, uh, the orangey gods are having mercy on me. So anyway, try not to damage it too much. We don't need it after this mission. We, we need it for like an additional, I don't know, drive down the road, fl flight down the road, uh, and then we're gonna be abandoning it. But it has served us well. And uh, while our homeboys change clothes at home, uh, donations would be great. All right, KZ, we've got $25 from Supongo. KZ crew representing. I knew about KZ at GDQ 2017. Happy to see him again and hoping more people get into speed running thanks to it. Donation goes to KZ's choice. Yo, please do. This this game is a barrel of laughs every time. <laughs> it, it's, it's the only game that still surprises me. Anyway, so mission complete. Uh, there was a little cutscene about how the, uh, the asset is complete. And what we're gonna do now is uh, just leave this in the road. Hopefully someone will find it at some point. Well, now they won't. Okay, get out. Yeah, they won't <laughs> run find away. it. Run away. Yeah. Please run away. All right, phone call. We're going to play this replay. Okay, we'll get back to that later. And we're going to make another one here. Uh, there's a rampage icon here, which is not visible because we're on the call. So we're going to make that right there. Uh, this is Sonny. This is uh, the head honcho, and he's just checking in with us and uh, maybe maybe saying a few things to threaten us. Yeah, he has. A, he he's been watching the run. He hasn't forgotten about us. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make our first save of the of the playthrough because it is a playthrough. It's not a speed run. Um, anyway, and what we're gonna do now? We just started the rampage and picked up the uh, the save marker at the same time. Save markers set you into free roam mode. So. I started the rampage right before I picked up the marker, uh, the save marker, and then uh, now we can take the storyline mission while the rampage is running because we're going to do the uh, well of insanity that is um, insta passing, which is how we skip through most of the uh, third act of the game. All right, we didn't get the taxi. I, I whacked it with my katana. This you is the did. most this is the most anime thing you'll see the entire run. It is. This is uh, sprinting full speed with a katana. We're gonna grab some armor because this is GDQ and I don't want to die. Uh, <laughs> 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 you can still it can still happen with 200 health in this mission, but hopefully hopefully uh, we will have some mercy. Uh, there's a bike here. It's always here. And the roads are quite empty except for this one guy. It's always uh, the no. yellow Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'd be driving it around all the time, too, if I had That's one. True. Yeah, you know? So, yeah, because we glitched a lot of cars, there's, like, no traffic. So we're, we're free to listen to the uh, fab radio. And also, another thing about bikes that I haven't mentioned the entire run is I'm leaning forward constantly because that speeds you up. A little bit of lean back there to make the turn. Watch out for the taxi. And let's try to do the cool thing again. Nope, that's fine. We're gonna leave it there, and we're gonna run onto this boat. So the Printworks is all about counterfeit money, uh, and there is someone on this boat who knows a thing or two about counterfeit money, so we're gonna talk to him. Uh, actually talk to him, I'm not gonna run him over. <laughs> See, just a little nice conversation. Friendly. Very nice. All right, the rampage is about to expire. We got we got shot a little bit there. We could have lived without the armor, but you know what? The game would have known. It would have. <laughs> it's known everything <laughs> else. Yeah. Absolutely would have known. All right. So at any rate, 
what we're going to do now is we're going to use our save replay here right after picking up two bribe stars. We're picking these up because we want the phone to ring, and it won't ring if we have a wanted level. So, all right, there we go. And now we're going to warp back. Uh, the reason that happens, if you pick up a save icon and you're within the same zone of it, it uh, puts you in a specific spot, which is usually near the save marker. So now the phone is ringing and the mission has started. When the phone stops ringing, we go back to free row mode. This guy is still here. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, he, he would be there forever. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to throw grenades. There we go. All right, we didn't throw grenades. We enter the ice cream uh, truck. Deering hit the courier. And what that does is it just completes the ice cream mission. And it allows us to do this like as many times as we want. So we're basically farming assets. Every time we enter the ice cream van, Deering hit the courier. <laughs> what? Uh, he's still there, yeah. He's yeah. still there. <laughs> yeah. So every time we do this, uh, we get an asset. And we're going to do this five times because we need seven assets to beat the game. And we're going to do the two and ones that we need to do. That is a fade skip. Yes, baby. Marathon first, I'm pretty sure. He's still there! So that's hard to do. You gotta be really fast to do fade skips, and they're kind of risky, but you know what? It's GDQ, and I gotta show off. So Don't we all? Yeah. So here we go again. This saves like two seconds, and it's incredibly risky, but it's two seconds. There it is again! Another fade skip. All right, will he still be there? Yeah, of he's course. still there! <laughs> and you can and just drive through him. I don't, I, I don't know, dude. It's... <laughs> This is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. <laughs> I will intentionally not fade skip this one to give you a frame of reference as to what it looks like. So this is what you do if you're slow. The phone rings, the fade happens, and then you take the mission. What is that, three? No, that's four, ain't it? I need to do this five to Okay, you're the math champion. Please tell me how many that was. I think that was four. Okay, all right. This is on you. I should have been keeping count. Listen, I have math trophies at my mom's house, Count right? Counting to five is the hardest part of this run, dude. You're math putting too much responsibility on me, though. But I think it was four. I think it was, because I got two fade skips, right? And then one, and then that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I can take the call now. All right. So we do this mission a little differently than we did at GDQX in November. Uh, this was a... <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> we, we've we ignored his call like five times. He's a little upset. So, at any rate, uh, the new Hit the Courier, we, we don't call it that. We call it like after Lazy Useless Man, who found it, who is anything but lazy or useless because he found 20 seconds of time save in this mission, uh, roughly. So, what I'm going to do is we're gonna, we're gonna bail the spike again, right here. And we're gonna take a phone call. And we're gonna talk to this lady 12 times. And the reason we do this is because her line is a lot shorter than most of the lines in the phone call. So we just have her say this over and over again and it skips lines of the phone call, which is, this is the longest call in the game. So, how many was that, 10? No, that, that was 10, this is 11. This is 12? Yeah, it's 12. Okay. So we're going to grab our bike again. This mission is on a timer as well. So here we go. Let's park it right there. And now we're going to take another phone call. Again, like I said earlier, AI ignores you when you're on a phone call. So even though they're shooting now, they won't be shooting when I take this phone call here. There we go. Grenades out. Don't throw them. Don't throw the grenades in accident. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and we can just peace out. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. Private business, they're not welcome. Never welcome. We're going to do it a couple more times for optimizations. All right. And now we get back on our bike, and we're going to save warp again. Uh, like I said, the save warping happens when you're in the zone of the marker. So we need to actually return to the zone in order for the, uh, the warp to happen. There it is. And we're going to... Do this specific jump right by the, uh, the like, asset icon right there. That's because it's going to block a phone call from coming in. 
Uh, there's more phone calls that we don't need to take. We only take the ones we need to. And the way it works is there's like a priority chain. So, for example, the calls that unlock the assassin missions are the very last calls. But this one takes precedence over that one, so we get it here. I'm going to try... Oh, man, I don't know what's raining. Um, I'm going to try to do the CTC snipe. I, I got the sniper rifle way earlier, and you can shoot people through walls. All right with the sniper rifle. That's all you need to know. There's a very specific setup. Come on. Yes, we got it. Still there? Yeah. Yep. Dependable. <laughs> He's still there too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there's two other guys we need to take care of here. This is the second set of collectors. There's three sets of two. There they go. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes, 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 sometimes we play video games. Sometimes uh, this third set here uh, crashes into the pole, and it doesn't save time. It's just kind of funny. I'm going to see if they do it. If they don't, we're going to lose time. Come on. Yeah! yeah! All right, flashy, very flashy. They're just bad at their job. Sonny couldn't hire any better help, I guess. That's how it is sometimes. Yeah, so the final mission is coming up. Uh, it's also on a timer, and we're gonna, we're gonna do uh, a strat that is um, <clears throat> found, not found, was pioneered by Rock24, the meme <laughs> lord. Uh, so, we're gonna warp because we picked up the save icon earlier in that replay from forever ago. So we're already at the mansion. And this is the final mission, and I really hope I don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it saves you no time at all, and it might actually lose me time, but we gotta have fun when playing video games. So we're, here to, we're here to be stylish. Yeah, the Mafia is here. These, this is the Mafia. Uh, they flew all the way down here because we've cut them out of what they believe is their rightfully owed, like, share of our business empire. Uh, so we're gonna do the only thing sensible when a home invasion is happening, and we're gonna leave. We're leaving our mansion. Yeah. And the reason for that is we're gonna find the biggest, baddest artillery in all of Ice City. Uh, I think we found it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's a small city, all right? They don't have a lot of- they don't have a There's lot not of a lot fun. going on, yeah. yeah. Right? They have a tank. Yeah, but that's not our tank. This isn't our ice cream. Well, it is because we, we own the asset. So anyway, uh, we're just driving our ice cream van back to the home invasion, as you do. Uh, we're going to park into the garage because if I don't, it'll despawn and kind of ruin the whole point. <clears throat> we can also play the uh, ice cream music. I think the mafia wants some ice cream. Ice cream, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a spawn point right there. He really wants ice cream. He, he is <laughs> hungry. Okay, he's stuck in there. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, Lance is here. He betrays us. Oh. Uh, he's being very... Hate it when that happens. Uh, you don't, don't you know? I mean, <sighs> betrayal. Seems to be the theme of this game. It does. Uh, Lance meet Chainsaw. Okay, he's running away. Wow. Rude. Sometimes he has, like, way too much health. <coughs> yeah, that's Sorry. that's what we don't we don't need to hear. Yeah. He's still not dead. It's the it's the Terminator. It's the T two thousand. It was it was like eighty six, right? That was when Terminator two came out, right? Eighty six. It might be eighty six. I think I early nineties was Terminator yeah. two. Really? Oh, yeah, because I bought it on pay per view when I didn't understand it cost <laughs> money, and my parents were really upset with me. <laughs> that's the that's only reason I remember that. <laughs> that's a Sorry, story. mom. <laughs> All right, so there's, oh, yeah. there's no dudes out here. This is actually very good. All right, ice cream van time. Please don't. Thank you. All right. Let's play the music as you do. Don't flat my tires, sir. I'll flatten you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sonny. One on one. Just me and my Let's ice cream van. <laughs> Let's see who wins. <laughs> The ice cream man cometh. <laughs> Here we go. Ice cream. You scream. Yeet. <laughs> he's not dead. He's not dead. Come on. All right, there we go. <laughs> cool. GG. That's it. Time.
Thank you. Y'all are great. There's, uh, there's the uh, ice cream van. <laughs> it's sliding down the steps. Two by the way. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh I, two Tommies, yeah. Yeah, two Tommies. Uh, I have a couple shout-outs before I go. Uh, <clears throat> of course, obviously, Anatole Enigma. If you follow me, follow this man, please. He is half the reason this run was as good as it was, kind of. Um, <laughs> low bet. Brosev, she doesn't stream, uh, but she's amazing. Uh, musical Daredevil, you're a hero. Thank you for all you do for GDQ. You're always here. You're always here. It's crazy. Yes, round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, obviously, shout out my mom and dad. Uh, mom donated $100 last GDQ. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, all my IRL friends who put up with my speed earning habits, thank you. Uh, the Casey crew. <laughs> Gotta shout out the Casey crew. Didn't do it last time. Gotta do it this time. A lot of donations from them. That's amazing. You guys are heroes. Uh, the GTA speedrunning community. I've mentioned a few names. I'm not gonna name names. I'll leave somebody out and they'll feel left out. I don't want to do that, okay? So the whole GTA speedrunning community, uh, they run, you know, just about everything uh, GTA related. And they've uh, been at it for a while. And, of course, I always say when I do a run, it's, it's not my run. It's, it's the work of just a ton of really passionate people over the years, literal years of work. So, big shout-outs to them. Uh, I want to shout-out my homies at Ping is Bad. I will name one person. Josh, you're a hero, man. I love you to death. And, uh, of course, the CS 1.6 and KZ Mod Creeds community. Uh, those are my roots. It's in my name. It's in my handle. So, much love to those guys, and uh, much love to y'all for being here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And of course, much love to you, Casey Crew. That was absolutely fantastic. It, it sure was a, a run. Things happened in it, we ran the game. So we are going to go to a quick ad break, so don't go away, we will be right back. I'm Omnigamer, and I wrote my new book, Speedrun Science, to help newcomers and veterans alike through the full process of investigating, routing, and performing speedruns. I also introduce speedrunning's rich history, how its rules evolved, and a whole lot more. Pre-order now at Fangamer.com. Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2019. Coming up next, we have an interview with our Final Fantasy Free Enterprise runners. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Final Fantasy Free Enterprise runners with Bletchy. Um, we are currently in the midst of setting up for that. Um, so in the meantime, I'm go going to get to some of your donations. We have $25 from Oko. You people rock. Merci, everyone from France, for this amazing event. We have $50 from Hamstar1382. This week for HDQ has been amazing. 
Thank you all the runners and staff for putting on a great show and helping a great cause. And we are ready to go on that interview. Take it away, Bletchy. Hey guys, I'm here with all four runners of the upcoming free enterprise race. From left to right, we have got Kobahi, Abda Jr., Rivers McCone, and Nirm. Um, so for a lot of people, I mean, this has been an awesome week so far, but for a lot of people, myself included, this is honestly the thing to see. Um, I've been playing free enterprise a lot myself recently. It's so much fun. The cool thing about it is that normally in, uh, in Final Fantasy IV, you would just kind of go from point A to point B, following the plot through. But um, Abda, actually, could you tell me kind of what is it exactly that Free Enterprise changes about Final Fantasy IV? So Free Enterprise is a uh, ROM hack done by um, Boardface who, uh, you start the game, you get random characters, and you, you start with the airship, so you, you, the whole world is open to you. Uh, key items, chests, and characters, and bosses are all randomized, so you go to place to place, try to find what you need, and uh, try to complete the game in a, in a lot, uh, uh, in a lot faster pace than the regular game. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, because rivers. I mean, normally, like I said, you would need to go through this, but now the entire world is just available to you. So, what what do you need to be able to beat the game then? Well, you need access to Zeremus through either the Darkness Crystal or the uh, pass item, which we repurposed in this game to give you a quick shortcut through Troya into the Zeremus fight, and then you need the crystal to be able to transform him into his uh, usually randomized sprite, which uh, people seem, seem to really enjoy. Nice. Um, so Nerm, uh, like final, final, there are so many games out there, so many games that you could potentially randomize, but for whatever reason, there's something about Final Fantasy IV which just makes it a good fit, which has made Free Enterprise just kind of take off in a way that many randomizers and, and become more popular than many other randomizers. What is it about uh, Final Fantasy IV as a base game, which just makes it such a good candidate for a, a randomizer like this. I guess if you think about it, Final Fantasy IV uh, for the Super Nintendo, really, I guess the first, you know, the first Final Fantasy to introduce the ATB system, so active battles, and it, it's a great base RPG in general to, that you can kind of open up the game. Um, it's, it, I don't, want, I guess it's pretty simplistic in terms of how many key items there are, and so a general run of the game doesn't take more than depending on what flag set you choose, more than about two to three hours um, if you're trying to go fast. So gotcha. it can definitely definitely speed things along. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, there's, there's just something about the game like that that just makes it the right candidate. The really cool thing about randomizers a lot of the time is that um, players can have kind of different preferences for strategies. Um, so actually, Kobahi, uh, I was wondering if you have any opinions on uh, kind of what makes, uh, like, what do you think you do differently that, or any preferences that other players might not have the same preference for? Uh, I don't know. Generally, the studying is about the same, but uh, I feel I have a preference for doing mano deals almost no matter oh, what. Oh, really? That a lot of people don't like Ooh. doing. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I, I prefer Cecil, even if he is your agility anchor. And, you know, if you ever find Fusaya, you have those three extra bosses of spells to mm -hmm. really power him up. Gotcha. And I'd love to hear from you guys as well. Uh, River, is, what, is there anything you think in particular that you think um, other people like undervalue or overvalue that you do? I think people, when they get into this game, try to go a little too fast sometimes. Mm -hmm. And especially in this marathon run, of course, we're going to be very cautious anyway. But uh, generally speaking, I think, kind of like with what Kobahi said, uh, the, the actual normal progression of the game does get you the levels you need to be really powered normally at the right times. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Nerm, anything you do uh, that's kind of unique in any way? I think um, one of the things you need to do is check shops early. And I think, ge in general, most people do this. But make sure you do your due gil diligence and find everything that's possibly available to you so you can um, you know, know all of your options and then move forward from yeah. there. Got it. Yeah, because a lot of this game is kind of item-based. So you want to find the correct items uh, from these shops. So it's going to be really cool. Um, uh, Rivers, actually, so <laughs> naturally, in any RPG, uh, routing is going to be really important, and I mean, that's only more true in randomizers. Uh, however, uh, tell me a little bit about the execution in this game, because uh, you can like route correctly all you want, but if you make it to a boss and you make the wrong decisions in that fight, then you're going to have a bad time. So how does execution kind of play into this randomizer? Well, a lot of it is just you know, how much knowledge you have about the randomizer. Um, as Kobahi was saying earlier, kind of, if Cecil is an agility anchor, uh, you want to know all the agility rules, 
you want to make sure that you're figuring out what your damage output is per turn and, and how that scales. Because if you go into a fight, like you said, with a, a boss that's overpowered and you don't have the specific item that actually you know nerfs it or, or you know gets you past it, then uh, yeah, you're you're pretty you're pretty much going to lose a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kabaki. Uh, it's going to be, it may be hard for some people that have never played Final Fantasy IV in general to kind of be following along what's going on. So how, do you got, how did you guys approach kind of making sure that it's understandable for all the viewers, this kind of this new, new content? Uh, well, one of the things that's going to help a lot is a commentary team. We yeah. have a, uh, a four-person commentary team that know a lot about even the game itself or the routing that we will even be doing, and then we also have the developer of the game on, yeah. on, on hand to kind of explain some of the intricacies that the, the randomizer is doing that the people might not understand just knowing the base game. And I feel like that's going to be fun even for people that kind of know the, um, know, know the randomizer even, because uh, Boardface, as, as accessible, the developer, as accessible as he is, um, you don't always get that opportunity to just kind of hear from him, hear commentary from him. That's going to be a lot of fun to, to just kind of hear the commentary. Um, actually, that kind of brings me into another question, Nurm. Um, do you guys get to interface much with the developer and kind of like offer suggestions, give feedback, um, and, and kind of how quickly do your suggestions get implemented into a new version of the randomizer? Absolutely. Uh, we do get to talk with Boardface basically every day, and uh, Scala Kitty, who does the sprites as well. Mm -hmm. um, literally every day, some of us are communicating with them. And in general, like a lot of the feedback that's get, that gets posted in the uh, Discord channel itself um, is taken into account, and Boardface will just, he, he doesn't really talk about it much, but one day he'll just come out of nowhere and surprise us, be like, oh, this is done, here you go. And we're like, oh, cool. Yeah, got it. Yeah, after the last GDQ, uh, it was like two weeks, and then like one Friday night, he was like, hey, by the way, here's a randomizer I made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just dropped that bomb on all of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. So uh, we actually technically, so remember, there is a donation incentive right now to decide which character that these guys are going to be starting with. Now, I was trying to think of how to pose this question the correct way. So theoretically, um, you know, you're not, you're not racing today, right? So say you're not racing today. And say that you found your childhood enemy who you hated the most when you were growing up. He was just this total jerk, right? He, he was going to start playing Free Enterprise. What character would you say you would want him to start out with, Kobaki? Uh, I'd probably give him Tella. Just and why is that? Uh, he's, he's slow. When you first get him, he does not have access to many spells. And if you don't know how to use him properly, you're not going to get very far. Yeah. Rivers, how about you? It's got to be Edward, right? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, I want him to accidentally plink hide and, and deal with that. Nice. <laughs> Nerm? I would say Porum. Just because even though it, if really? she, in the end game she comes around, starting off with Porum is very, very difficult. Yeah. And she can't use dancing daggers as well, right? Which nope, others no, she can. cannot. Nope. Cool. Abdi, I know you're not mic'd up, but maybe you can just like whisper to Rivers and he can... Uh... <laughs> that's Edward. an Edward from that's Abda. A, that's another Edward, right. yeah. <laughs> that's what I was pushing for. Um, cool. We have a couple of quick questions. Um, so uh, from Tad Legler, uh, Tad asks, uh, what part of the run worries you the most, uh, Rivers, if you want to handle this? Uh, probably the, uh, the opportunity for a hook seed. Um, there's a slight chance, a 50-50 chance, that we will wind up going the Eblin route, and you're kind of under level to that point. The bosses there can be very difficult. Uh, I had a practice run Tuesday where I, it took me 12 minutes to be the boss there. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> Um, from Ot Dog Buns, Ot, Ot Dog wants to know how many Edwards are too many Edwards. Kobahi, your thoughts? There's never too many Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this interview. I cannot wait for the run. Before Pokemon Gold come up, uh, coming up next, we have a few prizes to talk about. Um, first, we have uh, a few uh, pillows, actually, a few plushies here. We're going to pass these out. I want to kind of make sure we spread the love here. Look at these things. These are so comfy, so adorable. Um, I believe that these are going to, oh my god, it's so soft, so soft. Um, I believe that these are going to be available uh, throughout uh, Pokemon. Please be sure to donate if you want a chance at these. They're so adorable, so fluffy. I like looking at each one of these. So awesome. I don't know, do you guys know which one this one is? Yeah. 
but uh, love these guys, so adorable. <laughs> um, we've got these, and then also coming up, uh, if you donate, we have this awesome framed um, artwork of Home Sweet Home from, uh, from Pokemon Gold. Ooh, let's see if, yeah, that's better. Check this lovely, lovely piece out. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Love it. Cool. So definitely uh, be sure to get your donations in for this because uh, this is an awesome set of prizes. Love it. Cool. Um, good luck uh, to Gunner Maniac 3 and Pokeguy on the upcoming Pokemon Gold Race, and then I look forward to watching Free Enterprise after that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Lucky. Thanks, Lucky. Thank you. Thank you for that interview. This is Tira Lira coming to you from Awesome Games Done Quick at Rockville, Maryland. Coming up next, we're taking Johto by Storm in Pokemon Gold with the Any% percent Glitchless race. We've got Gunner Maniac 3 versus Pokeguy84. Can I get some hype for that? <laughs> All right. Now, while they're still setting that up, here are some donations. We've got $20 from Amoeba saying, good luck, Poke Lad and Gunner Lad. Big fan. We've got $47 from Paladin58 saying, greetings from Feralis. Here's 47 Vohio coins to help you win the lottery. Now here's a note about the charity. The Prevent Cancer Foundation is the only US-based nonprofit organization solely dedicated to cancer prevention and early detection. Our mission is saving lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection. Uh, their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. Learn more at preventcancer.org. We've got $100 from Silver Moon 9000 saying, looking forward to Pokemon Gold and Free Enterprise. Food luck to all the runners. Oh, good luck. Whoops. We've got $10 from Aldizi1 saying, a half circle spline rotated 360 degrees about a third dimensional axis, or more commonly known as an orb. Say orb, say it, orb, orb, orb. I just heard orb coming from out the ha hallway. We've got $20 from Mattachu saying, good, gotta donate them all during Pokemon. We've got $250 from Moonlight Kitsune saying, glad I woke up when I did, been giving money throughout the event, but you had to pull the Pokemon prizes, and I have to work this morning. With the fact that I likely won't get off in time for the Pokemon Gold Run, Kitsune's wallet used Donate Money. It's super effective. Thank you, Kitsune. We've got $20 from Preferred Name slash Alias 71, saying, enter comment here. All right, looks like the race is ready. Take it away, runners, for the Pokemon Gold Glitchless Race! <laughs> 